Alright, hello guys, how's it going? In today's video, we're going to be talking all about the upcoming pattern. I think we could have a pretty cold period actually coming up in about a week from now, so we're going to talk all about that within this video. Anyways, for today's comment of the day, I want to know, are you looking forward to a break from the heat and a little bit of a cool now, maybe some 60s and 70s for some folks? Are you looking forward to that or would you rather just stay pretty warm? What do you prefer? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll be picking one of those for tomorrow's video. Let's get straight into this video and first things first, we're taking a look at the first three days of June. Uh, and as you can see, it actually had a bit of a colder start. You probably remember this for the south central United States and then the eastern, I guess basically just mostly the eastern half of the country here uh, was quite cold there to start things out. And you can see it was very warm along the west coast as well. That is a positive PNA. That's what we call that when it's very warm along the western coast of North America. And that forces colder air to head further east, as you can see here. Now, the five days that followed that, uh, in June, which gets us to basically today, from the time I'm making this video, June 8th, you can see things were actually a lot warmer for most of the eastern United States, with the exception of Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and Tennessee. Outside of that, it was mostly warmer, so the further north you go, actually, the warmer it was, which is weird, by the way. But you can see the west coast was actually colder than normal, a negative PNA, and this forces the warmer air to head further east. So this is the opposite of the first three days of June. Uh, so this would be a negative PNA pattern. All right, now let's take a look at today. Uh, so this is going to be all of Tuesday, June 8th. As you can see, we're still in a negative PNA there, especially now for California, Oregon, Washington, and then the west coast of Canada as well. So all of these areas are below normal, which means a negative PNA. The western coast of North America. Uh, and we're basically in the same pattern we've been in for the past five days. Warmer than normal conditions there for the Rockies, the north central United States, the Great Lakes, the mid-Atlantic, the northeast, etc. But not the south central United States or the southeast. They're more closer to normal, if not a tiny bit below normal, but not really too cold compared to normal. It's very cloudy and very humid. There's going to be thunderstorms all over the place today. Uh, and by the way, we talked about the tropical cyclone yesterday. You can check that video out, by the way. I am going to be updating that, but there was no new information today. The, the National Hurricane Center upgraded from a 20% to a 30% chance, and that is the only update I have for you guys. It's not officially an invest yet, and I'm waiting for that because then we will have spaghetti models, intensity guidance, things of that nature to go over. So I just figured I'd wait, wait till tomorrow because I'm assuming tomorrow we might have more data. So that's why I'm making this video instead. I just wanted to clarify that. That still is a thing, and we're still going to be talking about that coming up, just in case you were wondering. Now, as we move towards Wednesday, June 9th, as you can see, it's a lot of the same. We actually just get a little bit of some warmer than normal conditions down there for the southeast moving in. So the south central and the southeast are warming up a little bit here. We can also see that that uh, negative PNA out west is actually getting a little bit more significant. We see more of those greens growing. So this is also just forcing that warmer air to head further uh, and further east here by this point. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to move on, and we're going to move on towards Thursday, June 10th, Friday, June 11th, Saturday, June 12th. And we're just going to move on with the pattern until finally we see that big pattern flip, basically. Now, by the time we are reaching Thursday, June 10th, as you can see, this is going to actually possibly be when we're finally seeing a little bit of some signs of an upcoming pattern change. Uh, we can see that that negative PNA in the west is actually creeping a little bit eastward. We see some of those colder than normal conditions moving into Nevada, Idaho, Montana. Those colder than normal conditions moving further east is a sign that we are possibly transitioning more towards a positive PNA coming up soon. We also see those warmer than normal conditions still for the eastern half of the country. That has not gone anywhere by this point, obviously. Let's just take this towards Friday, June 11th. Uh, and as you can see, actually, for the south central United States and the southeast, we get even warmer. So finally, these warmer than normal conditions will have spread to your region. The east coast is actually a little bit less above normal by this point, though. More near normal conditions, I would say. The west, look at that negative PNA. Again, moving further and further east. Now Utah, Wyoming getting included as well. And it's just a little bit less potent by the west coast. So this is another sign that this is continuing to weaken and head possibly more towards a positive PNA, which again would mean colder than normal conditions for the eastern United States. The negative PNA we've been in is what has been driving the warmer pattern for the eastern United States. So I'm confident there will be a pattern flip at some point, at least a brief one. 
uh, if not maybe a little bit of a longer one. By time we are reaching Saturday, June 12th, as you can see, we see warmer than normal conditions for most, if not all, of the United States here by this point, including the West Coast, which again is probably a sign that that negative PNA is rapidly coming to an end by this point. The warmer temperatures are still around for the eastern United States, but I think that will be mostly coming to an end over the coming days following this frame uh, is likely what would happen. We see, again, this is Saturday, June 12th by this point. Let's move on towards Sunday, June 13th, and you can tell we have fully transitioned towards a positive PNA by this point. Look at the West Coast. Reds far above normal temperatures. This is so rapidly flipped. And then we look out east, and at this point, the eastern half of the country is the colder half of the country, although it is warmer than normal still. Uh, but the western United States is a lot warmer than the eastern United States. So we see that this is uh, fully coming around, transitioning by this point. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move on and we're just going to move on to the days following this and watch the, the basically the cool down finally move in uh, and this, this pattern change fully take place. Now this is by Monday, June 14th and as you can see the warmer than normal conditions have become even warmer there for the western United States and we're cooling down still for the eastern United States here by Monday, June 14th. 14th. Let's just take this towards Tuesday, June 15th. And as you can see, some blues are showing up for the Ohio Valley, the Mid-Atlantic, the Northeast, a lot of the interior eastern United States. Uh, and this is a cool down. Finally, a cool down is moving in. This will be a big relief from the heat we've been feeling. And I expect 70s and 60s to be likely in this blue region. Look out west. We still have that positive PNA. Warm, warm, warm temperatures for the western half of the country still by this point. By the time we reach Wednesday, June 16th, that cooldown becomes even more widespread. Uh, the South Central United States, the Southeast, the Northeast, the Mid-Atlantic, the Ohio Valley, all of these areas are in the blue by this point. Again, that's where the colder than normal conditions are located. And out west, we're still dealing with those warmer than normal conditions. Same story by Thursday, and that's going to be on June 17th. As you can see, colder than normal conditions along the Gulf Coast, the East Coast, uh, and then still warmer than normal there for the Western United States. So as we look at it in larger spans of time, this is days zero through seven or the eighth through the 15th of June. And as you can see, mostly the eastern half of the country will be dominated by warmer than normal conditions up until uh, the 15th or a little bit before that. The west coast there is dealing with colder than normal conditions. So this is our negative PNA. But the final uh, five days here, this is going to be the 13th through the 18th. We overlap a little bit there. But as you can see, it completely flips warmer than normal conditions, well above normal conditions, actually, matter of fact, for the western half of the country, and then near normal or below normal temperatures dominating there in the eastern half of the country. Very, very interesting pattern we find ourselves in. Let's just look at that PNA chart real quick, and this is going to tell the full story. You can see we're in a far negative PNA, and this just creeps positive. But you can see the dates at the bottom, by the way, but by June 10th, uh, we're a little bit more positive, and then by June 13th, we've transitioned back into a positive PNA. That will peak out around the 15th. Usually you allow for a little bit of a lag in those conditions. So the, the uh, colder than normal conditions should peak around the 15th, 16th, 17th. And then actually this model by the time we reach the 17th, 18th has us transitioning back into a negative PNA pattern. And this one actually goes a little bit further out than the one we took a look at for the surface map. So I would not be surprised if this model's on to something that we see another warm up around the 18th, 19th for the eastern United States, and we actually see a return of the warmer than normal conditions for the final couple of weeks of June. So we're basically just going to see the middle portion of the month have a pretty big cool down, and then we might transition back into a warmer pattern similar to what we've already been in. Anyway, for today's confidence tab, we are at a four out of six. Obviously, we've seen the signs that in the coming days, we're actually going to see the PNA transition to a positive one. So I am fairly confident that we will have a cool down, actually. I'm, I'm feeling really good about that, even though it's a little bit longer range. Anyway, for today's comment of the day, speaking of that tropical cyclone, I asked you guys, uh, what do you think is its like peak, uh, its peak status? And uh, William Byrd said, Maybe just a tropical storm at best, although I would probably say at worst as opposed to at best. I do agree. I don't think this will be a hurricane by any means, so I think this one's maximum intensity is probably a tropical storm. Very unlikely we see a hurricane out of this one. Anyway, for today's patron highlight of the day, I want to thank you all for supporting the channel, but especially our platinum patrons, John Ben Bennett, James Wade, Dovi Nagel, Larry the Pan, and Donna Carnes. 
alongside our Diamond patrons, Bill Roberts, Marcus Connolly, Noah Harley, Michael Kotalesa, Catbite, Charles Stinnett, Cindy Klein, Mark J, Luke Flago, Garys, Dwight Phelan, and Stephen Cronenthal. If you would like to join this awesome patron end screen of the day, you can do so by joining our very amazing Patreon page in the description and in the pinned comments down below. I'd also like to thank our channel members, Hairfarms1 and Catbite as well. If you'd like to join that, you can do so by clicking that button next to the subscribe button down below. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to absolutely destroy the like button to help that YouTube algorithm out. Also be sure to leave a comment down below as it does the same thing for the algorithm. And also subscribe if you like weather-related content. I will see you guys in the next video.